Hey, it's Hadar, and this is the Accents Way. Today I'm going to teach you how to say the days of the week. So, it's pretty simple. They all end with day. To say the word day, you want to start with a D sound, and then it's the A as in day. So, if you don't have the A diphthong in your language, you're probably pronouncing it as day, day. You have to reach an E sound at the end, day, and see that there is transition from one sound to another, day. The day is always the unstressed part, so whatever comes first, the first syllable of the days of the week, is always higher in pitch. So let's start with Sunday. Sunday. You start with an S and then it's a cup sound. Cup. A cup is a stressed schwa, so you really don't need to do anything to make the sound. Just push the voice out and don't open your mouth so much for it. Cup. Sun. Sunday. Sunday. The next word is Monday. Although there is an O, it's not an O. Monday. But mun, like month, like cup, like sun. A stress chua, a cup sound, the tongue is pushed forward, the lips are relaxed completely, don't round them. Mun, mun, Monday. Then we have Tuesday. Here, just think of saying the word two. Two. You can also say Tuesday, but I recommend using two. Two. It's more contemporary. Two. So it's a t sound. There is a small breath there, like an H, because it's an aspirated T at the beginning of words. That's what happens. T, t. And then it's the U as in food. So there is transition there. And then I close it with a round U sound. Two. Two. And then a Z sound, twos, twos, day, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. It is not Wednesday, but when, as in when was the party, a Z sound again, and day, Wednesday, we. Drop your jaw a little bit for the E eh sound, so it's not super close, when, when. Wednesday, and make sure to go through the diphthong of the A as in day. Imagine like you have a little Y sound at the end. Wednesday. Thursday is always a tricky word for non-native speakers because you have the TH sound and the R and all of it in one word, Thursday. So start with the tongue out for the TH and then pull it in for an R, fur, directly. It's not fair, it's not thur, it's a soft TH, and then you pull it for an R and push your lips forward. Thur, thur. And then again, a Z sound and the day. Thursday. By the way, I have a video just about Tuesday versus Thursday if you're getting these two confused, so you can check it out on the link below. Friday. Here it's an F sound that is moving directly for an R. So my tip here would be to bring the tip of the tongue up for the R. Er, make sure that the tongue is not touching anything and the lips are rounded. And then just pronounce the F sound before the R. Fur. As your tongue is waiting there for the R. Fur. Fur. Then drop your jaw quite open and then pronounce the I as in my. Fry. Fry. And again, finish it up with day. Friday. Friday. And lastly, Saturday. Saturday. Three syllables. The first one is sa, sa. That's also the primary syllable, so it's going to be longer and higher in pitch. Sadder. Flap T and a schwa. Sadder. Not satter, but sadder. Sadder. And then day at the end. Saturday. Sunday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday, Saturday. That's it. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comments below what is the one day that you struggle with this pronunciation the most. And also tell me what is your favorite day of the week. I really want to know. Have a great week. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell to get notifications and like it if you liked it. I'll see you next week in the next video. Bye.